this is Brandy Arnault from Stay at Home Artist and welcome. I am starting a new work week, Monday. A lot of people dread Monday, but I do start every Monday morning with cleaning up a little bit from the weekend. I like to take Sundays off in particular and rest. So let's get I started. I have my handy dandy timer and I'm going to set it for 15 minutes and we will get started. Okay, so I got the load in there and I've got another one in the dryer. I find that with this dryer, putting it on quick dry is the best way to go. Okay, I'm going to start the kitchen sink now. Um, I can just get some water in it here. this out. Just squirt regular dish soap in here is how I do it. Maybe a little bit more here. Let's see how much of this we can get done right away. I have two different types of scrub brushes. They both come from uh, Grove Collaborative. Um, here is the other one. This one is their walnut um, scrubber. And this one I use for getting in these corners here. The way this sink is molded, sometimes things, just scummy soap stuff, gets in the corners. And I found this to be a wonderful tool, not only for the sink, I have one upstairs for the bath, very, very handy. This is now a damp cloth with some cleaning product in it. Okay. And I 
expect my timer to go off any minute now. Yep, there it is. I don't know if you'd be able to hear it. So let's go upstairs to the studio where I will set the timer again, this time for an hour. I'll just share Cookie, my little puppy dog Cookie. There she is, she's on her schnauzer pillow. And her job, she punches the clock somewhere between 7.30 and 8 every morning. And she is not looking out the window now. There she goes, she's looking out the window. Looks out this window to see if there's any squirrels. And by the way, the things that are hanging in the window, I have to do something like that to prevent birds from flying into the window. Okay, so we're going back to the studio and I'm just gonna make a quick right-hand turn here and show you Cooper. This is Cooper. Hello, Cooper. Hello, buddy. There is Isabella. Okay, we're setting the timer for one hour. My goal is to paint for an hour and follow that up with 15 minutes of cleaning. My photo, I'm listed here, stay at home artist. I'm gonna look at images um, and I'm gonna search for sheep. I feel like painting another sheep. All right, so I'm gonna be scrolling to try to find the right the right reference, and I kind of like this one. So let's take a look at it. Okay, this is a sheep that has been freshly shorn, and that actually goes on in May. Um, here's one, here's one with a lot in the background. I'm not interested in that. I like the pose on this one, but it's too dark. Um, and I don't know about this little guy. He seems to have short legs. He's probably a particular breed. Um, this one is interesting. Let's take a look at that one. I think I like that. I also like that he's got food in his mouth. I don't think you can see that. Okay, so let's continue looking at sheep. This one is interesting. Now, Three Woolly Jumpers is the name of it. And I might make this on a bigger support. I have a six by eight selected, but I need to make some bigger paintings also to get ready for a show. I'm going to actually view the image. See, there it comes up. Comes up nice and, and clean. Uh, easy to read. Uh, so I think I'm going to use this. Now, the only thing is, can I look at... I'm going to have to... This will be in the background, so the eyes don't really have to be that noticeable. Um... They're noticeable enough on these guys. I'm going to take this one and paint from this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to just enlarge it a little bit. Hmm. I can't really enlarge it. All right, I will be back. I'm gonna set up for this painting. I have my palette laid out here. Uh, it's a fresh palette, so I want to go over the colors with you once again. They're very simple. Excuse Cooper. This is titanium white. This is Hansa yellow. This is Indian yellow. This is Naphthol Red, Permanent Green Light, Ultramarine, not French Ultramarine, Ultramarine Blue. 
and this is transparent iron oxide red. All of these pigments are from M gram. M gram. I'm going to show you what I use as a medium. This is it. It is liquid. I love it. I've been using it for over 20 years. And I what I have done is I've taken an old canning jar, a jelly jar, and I put the liquid in that. And then I try to wipe it clean at the end of each painting session. 